I understand you said that um, sickle cell disease is basically a disorder where the red blood cells takes, take an abnormal shape, shape like a sickle, and it makes them um, not able to bend and pass through the small tubes in the body, which are the red blood cells. But where do we get sickle cell disease from? How does a child get sickle cell disease? Okay, so you asked the right question at the right time because um, we had a parent last week asking about um, this and uh, I don't know whether the parents are here on this forum right now. I wish they were. So um, as we said earlier, it's a hereditary disorder and not just inherited from one parent. Okay, so there are some things called genes that are transmitted from one generation to the other. Uh, one part from the par one parent and the other part from another parent. Okay, so sickle cell disease commonly indicates either SS type, um, sickle type, I wouldn't say blood type, so SS sickle type or SC sickle type. So it just means that one of the S has come from one parent and then the other S or the other C has come from another parent. So there's no way that one parent could um, uh, give rise to uh, children with sickle cell disease. Again, uh, it's also another question asking, asked by many parents, um, like, okay, my, I am AS uh, sickle type and my partner is another AS sickle type. And um, uh, what are the chances of um, we having a child with normal sickle type or without a sickle type at all? So again, there is um, one in four or 25 percent chances of a parent um, i mean both parents being as sickle type as father and as mother um uh, having uh, a child with sickle cell disease is about it's not about it's 25 percent or one in four chance in each pregnancy okay this is very important to understand because so, so so that will be right there. Hello, Belinda. But you are saying that sickle cell disease is inherited from both parents. That's so right. It means that sickle cell disease cannot come only from the mother and cannot Absolutely. come only from the father. Because Absolutely. there are some situations where couples break up because um, a parent is accusing the other partner that they gave their child sickle cell disease. So you are saying that this has no basis in science. It Absolutely. is both parents that... Um, the child got the sickle cell disease from not one parent. Okay. Absolutely. No, so that, that can be scientifically possible. Mm -hmm. Okay. I wanted you to emphasize that for us. And then you are also saying that um, two parents who are carriers, who are AS and AS, they can have children who do not have sickle cell disease at all. Yes. That's, that's so absolutely possible. Okay. So, and then they um, can have children with sickle cell disease. Yes. So if you look at the uh, parents, um, one is AS, another one is also AS. So there is one in 25, uh, one in four chances or 25% chances of those um, parents having a child with sickle cell disease, SS sickle type, and 50% chances of having children with carrier or AS sickle type. And there is only 25% or one in, four, one in four chances of a child being born without any sickle trait even. So if AS, AS get married, so AA, 25%, AS, 50%, and SS, another 25%. And it's okay, Edwin, Suda, let me interrupt you. So yeah. are you saying that if a couple has sickle cell, if a couple, both of them are carriers of sickle cell disease. Yeah. A couple, both of them are carriers of sickle cell disease. If they have four children, are you saying that one of them is going to have sickle cell disease or you are saying something different? Okay. So this is another question exactly asked by the parent uh, last week. So the misconception is that, okay, if there is one in four chances of um, mm. having a child with sickle cell disease, then let me just have four children so that I will end up having one child, just one child with sickle cell disease and the rest do not have that problem. That is a very big false um, fact that people have perceived. So one in four chance is through every pregnancy. Every, you, pregnancy. every pregnancy, the parents do have 25% chance of having a child with sickle cell disease. So it's not for all the family uh, that they are together or not, not for all the siblings that they are, that they are planning to have, uh, all the children that they are planning to have. It's for every pregnancy, 
that the parents are planning, it's it's about 25% chance of having a child. Okay, so, so this thank one you so much for clarifying that for us because it's a question that we have had repeatedly. If the, yeah. both partners are AS and you have four children thinking that out of the four, one will have sickle cell disease, that is not it. It can happen that of all the four children you have, none of them will have sickle cell disease. Exactly. It can also happen that all the four will have sickle cell disease. It can happen that all the four will be carriers. So we want to make this clear to you. The chance of having, the 25% chance of having a child with sickle cell disease is at every pregnancy. Every pregnancy. Add all the pregnancies together. So no. we just want to make that clear to you. At every pregnancy.